the observation for many countries is that when they have excess energy, instead of exporting raw energy, they can now export refined energy that is into artificial intelligence. Mm. Now here in Taiwan, one of the things that, that um, uh, we really need the Taiwanese government to help us do is to provision more energy so that we can build a new industry. You know, the current industries include chip plants and packaging and, of course, electronics manufacturing. And when you manufacture things, it requires energy. Yeah. And the energy is transformed into uh, the local economy and, and uh, GDP. Uh, we have a new industry now, and this new industry is called AI. The first use case of the AI uh, is uh, for the companies like TSMC and Quanta and MediaTek and Foxconn. They're using it to build AI models. Uh, they're using it for AI models for products that they sell, as well as AI to automate their manufacturing, or in the case of TSMC, to explore the next the future of semiconductor physics. And the second use case is uh, education and research. Uh, researchers here in Taiwan really need a lot of AI infrastructure. It is impossible to do AI research without AI factories, without AI supercomputers. All of the schools in Taiwan absolutely must incorporate AI into its curriculum. The best way to be prepared for the future of AI is to use AI now. Every student should be encouraged to use AI. And I'm really hoping that the government would subsidize the use of AI for all of the, all, every, from the first moment in school all the way through high school and college yeah. to provide that capability for all of the uh, students. And then lastly, the established companies. Mm. You know, it could be in financial services or healthcare or telecommunications. All of those companies need to have access to AI infrastructure. This is going to be the largest AI supercomputer built in Taiwan. Mm. We're going to start with 20 megawatts this year, and we need to quickly grow to 100 megawatts. Mm. But the limitation is just the availability of energy, and mm. I really hope that the Taiwanese government could support us with that. Okay, I wanted to move on to a more serious question where we talk <coughs> about the ongoing shift of semiconductor manufacturing mm. back to the U.S. soil mm. due to tariffs. So that has uh, created a bit of rather uneasiness within the Taiwanese ecosystem. So just wondering whether you have any word of advice or encouragement for your Taiwanese ecosystem partners and how will you deepen the relationship going forward? Mm -hmm. um, it's important to take a step back and look at what is, what is um, President Trump's larger vision. Mm. Um, and the larger vision is, actually, is founded on uh, very important uh, uh, changes in the world. Um, it is, it is true that, that semiconductors and AI has, is going to become much, much more integrated into the world's infrastructure. And so it's important that, that the supply chain is more diversified mm. and more resilient. There's redundancy and there's diver di diversification so that the supply chain could be resilient. And very importantly, it's, not, it's important that the critical infrastructure in the United States could be reindustrialized so that some manufacturing could be done in, in, in the United States for the United States, its own resilience and national security. Yeah. And so I think, I think that the, the vision is spot on. And, and um, uh, I would say that it also happened at exactly the right time. And the reason for that is it's very clear that because of NVIDIA's AI initiative and all the AI infrastructure that we're building, the whole electronics ecosystem is growing very fast. Mm. And at a time when, when um, uh, we're growing, uh, we're building many, many plants. And so NVIDIA's industrialization or manufacturing in the United States uh, allowed us to bring our partners to the United States so that they could expand their footprint. Mm. So now TSMC can expand their footprint in the United States, uh, Foxconn, uh, Wistron, Amcor, Spill, uh, we're bringing our partners and expanding their opportunity in the United States. Meanwhile, the consumption here in Taiwan is still so high mm. and it's continuing to grow. And so the timing is right. <laughs> the timing is just right. We're going to have plenty of growth. Mm -hmm. So you expect to see growth on both sides in that sense? Yeah, I expect to see growth, very, very high growth on both sides. Mm -hmm.